Welcome to the CyberArts exhibition. We are here in the category of artificial intelligence and life art. Sound for Fungi brilliantly translates art science research and philosophical reflections on the nature of networks into a convincing way of audience interaction. The interactive and generative video installation simulates Schubert's experiments. The golden Nike of the category Artificial Intelligence and Life Art goes to Forensic Architecture. There are several investigations combined to a fantastic video installation which brings together research from many areas around the world. With the help of facial recognition software, artist and activist Paolo Girio extracted the faces of 4,000 police officers that were taken during protests in France. He then created an online platform to crowdsource their identification by name. The next step of the project was to expose the officers' headshots in form of street art posters in public space. So this is my project TX1, uh, which launched fragments of my hormone replacement medications to the International Space Station. It was meant to enact a symbolic exodus to outer space for those trans, queer, and xenotypes who don't always find the Earth to be hospitable. Coupled with this project uh, is a three-channel video which uses the TX1 project as a starting point for exploring questions of queer futurities, how we imagine life in outer space in Alienus. The Transparency of Randomness is an interactive installation generating numbers by using the well-known medium of the dice. In every box, there is a different material. With all these different surfaces, every box has its own characteristic. With our installation, we want to invite the visitors to think about what real randomness is. They can also be part of the installation by taking control over one of the boxes with their own smartphone, and so they can generate their own random number. Geophagy is the practice of eating earth and earth-like substances such as clay and chalk. It is an ancient spiritual and healing practice and an integral part of culture in several countries in Africa, Asia and Latin America. Masha Ru's cross-disciplinary project, The Museum of Edible Earth, presents a collection of almost 400 earth samples originating in 36 countries that are eaten for various reasons by different people across the globe. Alison Parrish pushes language into philosophical and sometimes humorous territory through a combination of phonetic embodiment and machine learning techniques. What we see here is AI-based poetry. A model was trained with two parts, a speller, which spells words based on how they sound, and a sound outer, which sounds out words based on how they are spelled. With Slave Rebellion enactment, black social and political artist Dred Scott has initiated a reenactment of the Slave Rebellion in New Orleans in 1811. He is reviving the strength of the community as they fight for emancipation and freedom. The community performance consists of more than 300 black and indigenous people dressed in 19th century clothing and traveling with horses for two days before they arrive in New Orleans. The Clean Room Paradox is a work that kind of unveils the praxis of kind of clean image of high-tech industries. Corroded smartphones as kind of an ink to produce this portrait. Play is a project uh, where cucumbers and an AI-controlled robot engage in play. They explore each other through cucumber tendrils, which move and search for something to hold on to. And the artificial intelligence has its own metal tendrils, which it approaches the cucumbers in hopes for some contact. And uh, we actually have a screen here that is doing time lapse in real time that shows the dynamic between the cucumber and the robot. 